So previously I looked at a mortgage repayment schedule and we set that out in a spreadsheet and while well, we had worked out estimating the monthly repayment in a mortgage and then we widened that out to incorporate in a repayment schedule for a mortgage. So if we freeze the panes one more time, back um, unfreeze and set out again. Okay, freeze panes. We can see here that over the life of the mortgage, the value of the interest component declines, the value of the principal component component of the mortgage repayment increases um, and the balance ultimately falls to zero. So it's quite a dynamic, even though the payment itself is fixed, uh, internally the interest and the principal components and the balance is always changing over the life of the mortgage. Now to set up, set that out in C++, I'm going to use uh, Xcode. So I'll go into Launchpad and we launch Xcode and that may take a moment, so I'll pause. So I'm going to create a new Xcode project and I want to make the same type of estimation but in C++ and the compiler is in this instance Xcode. So I'll create a new Xcode project and that takes a moment and I'm going to use code um, from Andy James Duncan. So we'll see that in a moment. So, okay, application, command line tool, application OS X. Next, uh, the language we're using is C, and we'll just call this very simply mortgage schedule because that's what we want to work out. Next, and we'll create. And I'll redimension my compiler. We have a main. And here we have a just a dormant program. If I run this, it will produce a hello world. And if you like, this is just a test. So we don't normally we just ignore this code. Build succeed. and we got some output but that's not the program i want to run i want to run a program that estimates uh, the repayment on a mortgage and then um, builds out a payment a, a interest component a principal component and recalculates a balance over a 360 month period now um, some as a reference, I'm going to use uh, Andy James Duncan, uh, Lesson 8, and he has already a video clip that sets out his uh, technique, which is a very good introduction into C++. And he's taken some code, set up some code here that performs the mortgage calculation. I'm going to take his code and I've lightly edited the code and I'm going to set in set it up in our compiler. So to view that um we'll open up just a, a Word document where I I basically have rewritten uh Andy Andy's um program. So I'll just pause for a moment while that's opening. Okay, so the Word document has appeared and let's just widen that up and we'll just take the code and I've included in the web reference as well in this program. So I'll just copy um, edit copy and then go back into escape and then go back into our Xcode compiler and we'll delete out the existing code and paste. Okay, so that's just gone in. And basically what I've done 
here is taken Andy James Duncan's um, code, changed a little bit the names of the just just to make his co code compatible with our example here of these parameter values and the uh, parameter un input values I've set out uh, the periodicity m is equal to 12, the principal is 120,000, the interest rate is going to be 5% over a 30 year term. I work out if again the square brackets here is the present value annuity term, so if we go back into Excel, this, this is the square brackets that we're going to set out and in Xcode we can write it like this, 1 minus, and then this power. So we say 1 plus r over m to the power of m multiplied by t divided by r over m. So we have 1 minus 1 plus r m to the power of negative mm divided by r, r over m. And that's our square brackets. And then in turn, we take those square brackets and divide into the principal, and that produces the payment. And from there, we want to generate, a, okay, we've generated a payment, but we also want to generate the mortgage schedule. And we set that out using the following code. Uh, so we're basically denoting an interest-only component, a principal component, and a balance that's been re calculated so long as the current month is less than the 360 so m by t 12 by 30 is 360 and so long as the monthly period is inferior to 360 cm the current month is less than 360 we work out the interest component which is just the interest cost and the 5% divided by 12 multiplied by the balance, which keeps updating. And then the uh, principal component is the payment minus the, so it's the 3, 6, if we look at our spreadsheet, it's the 644. Four, and to get the current payment, we subtract the difference between the two. So that's the same for all the cells. So likewise, we're doing the same here and then the balance each time the balance changes so once we've worked out the principal component we subtract that principal component from the balance and the balance comes down okay so let's run this code just to see what happens and again it's the same structure as set out by Andy James Duncan the only difference here emerges in terms of just slight renaming the variables right so we come back here and if we compare like against like we can see that the if we take the first line here copy and go back into our spreadsheet and just paste We can see that the numbers are identical, that the it's 500, uh, the interest element for the first 144.19, the principal component, and the balance is 119.855. And then as we go towards, as we come down, if we take the last payments here, copy and go back into the spreadsheets so for the last month let's just paste again here okay we have an equivalence of the number so 64267 uh, 64151 and the balance the balance is zero so the mortgage schedule in the spreadsheet corresponds to the mortgage schedule 
in our compiler. Um, in the X, in the compiler, we didn't put in a value here for the 644, only just at the beginning. So if we go back again, um, only one payment, the mortgage payment, we enter once, 644, or outputs once, 186. Um, the, here you might notice also that the um, level of rounding is to, to three decimal places. We could have changed that to two. Let's just run that again. See what happens. Build succeeded. And now notice since I've changed this set precision to two, we're getting the level of precision here going to two decimal places. And of course, if we take the values again, just to verify, copy and paste in our spreadsheet. If we paste, edit, paste. Okay, we see that the mortgage payment is 644.19. The interest component on the first month is 500. The principal component of the mortgage payment on the first month is 144.19, same as here. And the balance, the new balance, down from 120,000. This balance is the difference between the 144. Subtract that 144 from the 120 and we get a value of 119,855.81 and that's the same value as we have here.